Welcome to how to use web stories for WordPress. Today we'll take a look at animations. The hows, the do's, the don'ts. Let's get started. If you use animations right, you can really polish the look of your story, highlight important facts and create an overall immersive experience. On the other hand, incorrectly used animations can be disruptive, lead to a cheap look or overwhelm your users. So you have to make sure you don't overuse them. But how do you access them and what can you animate in Web Stories for WordPress? You can animate text, shapes, photos or videos, basically any element that you add to your story. To animate an element, you click on it and in the Quick Actions menu, you'll find an icon that will lead you to the animation menu with one click. Alternatively, you can also find the animation tab via scrolling through the design tab. But after clicking on the animation icon, the animation tab will light up in the design tab and you can see what kind of animation is selected. And right now, nothing is selected here. If you click on the arrow, a menu will open up and you'll see an overview of the available animations. You can hover over the different names in this list and you'll see a preview of each animation. And to select one, you just have to click on the respective button. I want to apply a fade in animation here, so I'm going to click on it and zack, it will be applied to the element. Now, if you want to preview your animation, you can click on the play button below the canvas. Now that you've selected an animation, you can further customize it by changing the duration or the delay. The duration controls how long your animation will play and the delay controls when the animation starts. By default, the animation will start playing right after a user tapped or clicked on your story page. But when you set the delay to 600 milliseconds, for example, it will start 600 milliseconds or 0.6 seconds after someone has tapped on your page. So what are some best practices? I think the delay is particularly interesting if you use it in combination with other elements. For example, if I want to set a fade in effect on these other photos as well, and delay the appearance of each photo a little bit longer, I can create a nice cascading effect. So let me show you. On this first photo, I've set a duration of 800 milliseconds and zero delay. On the second one, I've set a delay of 200 milliseconds. On the third one, a delay of 400. The fourth one has a delay of 600. And then the fifth one has a delay of 800 milliseconds. So they are going to come in right after each other. Let's see how this is gonna look. Nice, I like it. This template page is another good example for an effective use of the delay. The headline comes in first and then slightly delayed the other elements of the page fly in. Now, as I said in the beginning, you can also quickly go overboard with animations. I did another take of my team page and you can see that this version is a bit all over the place. I'm using different animations and overall there are just too many things happening at the same time. So be aware that with animations sometimes less is more. As always, I hope this was helpful and have fun creating stories. <laughs>